Okay, now that we've got our spreadsheet completely filled out, we are ready to put it on a map. So I just kind of double check, make sure latitude is spelled correctly, longitude is spelled correctly. I've checked all my links, they're all HTTPS. And the image ones end in JPEG, looks like all of them. I've answered the question, have I been to this place or not? And now I'm ready to put it on a map. So in order to do that, I need to turn this into a CSV file. How do I do that? We go to the file menu. We click on it. We go down to download. And we go to comma separated values. One more time. File. Download. Comma separated values. I click on it. And it now asks me, where do you want me to put this file? I'm just going to simply put it on my desktop. It'll be easy to find. And it's going to be called GeoFest Minnesota Tour with my name. So I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to go to my map. Now, as you can already see, this is, I've already got a couple layers here, but I'm going to add this one again. So I'm now going to find that CSV file and I'm going to add it to this map. I'll show you that it's relatively simple. <clears throat> Go to the add button, which means you want to add something to the map, a layer. And I want to do it, add a layer from a file. So I'm going to click on that. So it gives me some information, says it's got to be a CSV or a text file. It meets that criteria. So now I'm going to click on choose the file. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And there it is right here. Double sure, make sure that's it. That's the one I want. I click on it. I click on open. And now it says you can import the layer. They didn't find any problems. And there you have it. All of those places now have been added to the map. Now what it has decided to do, it's decided to choose an attribute to show. So you can probably guess what it's doing here is it's showing the places by the number of visitors there. Uh, for I, I, There'll be more information in the session on how to deal with that, but I'm just gonna do show location only. And now I'm going to show you how you can create the symbol that you want to show all these places. So step one, choose the attribute location. Step two, select a drawing style. So I'm going to pick the first one options here. And I want to get a new symbol. So I'm just going to click on change symbols. And it's a black dot right now. So I'm just going to pick a red star. I say oh, that'll look kind of nice on my map. And this shows you how big it's going to be. It's pretty small. I can take the slider down here and I can move it to the right and get it up to about 24 5. And say, OK, that looks good. I can click on that and I can click on that and I am done. So now all my places are on the map. If I click on it, all the information that was in the file shows up. Grand Sino Malax, the number of visitors. I've been there. If I click on the more info here, I will get uh, go to the website. If I click here, I'll go to the picture. And there's latitude and longitude. Now there's a way to have the image show up in here. And I will save that for the next video if you'd like to learn how to configure these pop-ups to look the way you want them to look. So you can go ahead at this time and see if you can download your file to a map.